Hi ladies and welcome to today's tutorial. I'm looking slightly dishevelled, I'm sorry, <laughs> running around trying to get everything done. So today I thought we would talk about hooded eyes. So I'm sure you've heard the term hooded eyes and what is a hooded eye? Well, for myself, let me explain. When I was younger, let me look in the mirror too so I make sure I'm making the right faces. <laughs> Uh, when I was younger, I had eyes that um, you could, if I sit like this, you'll see. I had this area here, so for putting eyeshadow on, you had this beautiful landscaped area that you could use for eyeshadow. Now, if I stop this crazy face and relax and look at you straight on, um, that has now dropped all this that used to be up here is now come down here <laughs> and um, this area sits further down now sometimes mine's worse than it looks at the moment I don't know <laughs> maybe I'm making these expressions more and, and getting some exercise in my eyeballs uh, <laughs> but this area can sit quite low on some people and some ladies even consider having some surgery done to remove a piece of skin to, to open that up. And sometimes it's necessary because that becomes so heavy it's closing the eye. So if that's happening to you, that is an option. Okay, so what we're going to do with this is work on creating an illusion that the eye is more open and bigger. Sound good? <laughs> without the surgery. Now, I'll run off and put some foundation on and I'll come back. Okay, so back again. And what I've done is put the brows in with a little bit more emphasis so that it's going to raise that area, give a bit of lift. And we're going to start with a highlighter, but we're going to use it in a matte and not white so this it looks white in the monitor but it's actually not it's um it's pinky i'm trying to get a light that will give you a better look at what color it is we're going to start with that so taking the all over shader brush i'm going to pop that up there in fact i'm going to put it pretty much all over just as a base I don't, that, don't put that away anywhere because we're going to come back to that I'm then going to take a neutral shade it's this one here and pop that on the lid and a little bit out of the crease. So when we're talking about the crease, it's here where the socket finishes. That's your natural crease. But now with a hooded lid, our crease is hidden, whereas normally it was seen. Okay. Right. I'm going to now take a deeper shade and the fluff brush. So this gives a wash of colour and it's a blending brush as well. So this shade here, I'm going to use in and out of the crease. So keep your eyes open to see what you're doing and I'm going to tuck it around this corner as well. Now, pop your finger there because we don't want any of that falling down. You can put a tissue if you wish. But this is where eyeshadow coming out here is aging and will drag your eyes down it's not attractive we want to keep that in the eye area so if you place your finger there that's going to stop that drooping and coming out too far so just on that angle there end of eye end of brow and if you're following through each of these tutorials that brow should finish on that angle. Not back here, which I see all the time. You need to extend that brow. That's too short. Eyes look 
funny. We've got to extend it, end of eye, the brow will come out corner of nose, end of eye, that's the perfect length. So work on doing that because that extends the eyes, balances. So if you're wondering where your makeup's going wrong, it could be your short brows. Okay, so on that angle, into that natural crease, can you see my natural crease? Into that crease, out of that crease. And what we're doing is shortening this area here. So instead of this big saggy bit now being as big, putting a dark shadow, we're cutting it off. Pretending it's not there, we're giving it an eye lift. And bring that in. We're just doing this subtly. Don't, don't pile your eyeshadows on because you think, oh, if I put more on, it'll look less. No. <laughs> Bring it around. Gently, gently. I've hardly got any pressure on that brush. I'm poking and swirling. So I'm giving it direction, but I'm also swirling and blending at the same time. Now remember I said don't put that highlighter away because we'll go over and give it exactly where we want it to be. Okay. Taking the pencil brush, I'm going to take a little bit of that under the eye. I like to tuck my finger up there sometimes just to keep that right up high under the eye back up on that angle keeping that angle okay with a deeper shade again so I'm going to go this very chocolatey brown color I'm just going to emphasize at the very edge here And I'm bringing that all the way in there. So not just keeping it on the edge. If you're just watching closely, I'm poking it on the edge on the lash line and dragging it all the way, not just in the V, all the way. Tuck a little bit right under the corner here, just to bring it all together. Blending brush, just to soften it off. And then just make sure it's in the eye area, which I like to do with my foundation brush. And taking the um, highlighter again, and my missing brush, and the all over shader, I'm just going to tuck that up again high up here. little bit here and I'm going to take the highlighter out of the brow kit if I can open it the highlighter out of the brow kit because it has just a slight amount of shimmer to it and plop it in the middle of the lid here
we will use eyeliner. I'm going to do it with the double-ended brow brush and the cake eyeliner in brown. Just be careful when you're doing your day makeup not to be overdoing it and creating an evening makeup. It can look just so overdone. Um, I was on a flight recently. I won't say where I was coming from or going to in case the air hostess knows who they are. Or the, no, the flight attendant, they call themselves now. Um, she had that much makeup on. She she looked, to all intensive purposes, quite beautiful, but way, way too much makeup. Uh, it looked as though she may have been a model at some point. Um, she certainly did know how to apply her makeup. Beautifully done, but wow, it was like a mask. It would have been inches thick. <laughs> um, and it was... Oh, three o'clock in the afternoon, four o'clock, it, it, way too much. It just looks crazy. So be careful not to do that. It can be quite distracting and um, not flattering, is what I'm trying to say. Whereas if she'd have done that for an evening makeup, going out somewhere, or even the races in the middle of the day, um, somewhere, an event, definitely an event, um, wouldn't have looked the way it did with her standing in the middle of the aircraft with <laughs> all this makeup. So I, a point I'm making, I hope you understand what I'm trying to say. I'm not trying to degrade her. I just think that it was inappropriate makeup for the time of day. So we're trying to do this quite subtly, hence I'm using the brown, not the black. If I was doing a night makeup, I would probably go with the black. So all that said, blah, 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 sorry, bit of a blah, blah, blah. Uh, here we go. Wrong side of the mirror. So I'll just pop this on. I'll probably edit it so I don't bore you. Where are we going? Now always remember at the outer edge to keep that line going up on that angle to that brow. Again, um, it, if you open your eyes and you have that line coming straight out here, it can end up going down this way. And um, then your eyes definitely look like they're pointing to the ground. Everything we want going up. Everything. <laughs> gravity's already stolen what we once had. <laughs> Unfairly so. So, if you can see what I'm doing here. I'm going to take that under. Join that up. And then you can come in from under and flick up as well to finish that off. Now you don't need to do that line as distinct as I have. I just kind of like doing that. <laughs> Some mascara. Okay, so once you put your mascara on and you're looking in the mirror, you can see whether that's achieved what you are looking for. You can go in with your eyes open and add more if you wish to try and hide that lid a little bit more. I don't suggest doing it in too dark a shade and make sure you're blending it well. So I'll go and finish the other eye so at least you've got a, <laughs> a balanced face put some blush on look like a spook I'll be back shortly <laughs> so ladies the finished product I've decided to go with a nude lip don't ask me why must be a nude lip day uh, our hooded eyes are complete I think you can see the color theory certainly works using that darker shade to send that area back it doesn't exist anymore the eyes are open and wide um, it certainly does work. If you've got any questions, please feel free to contact me and you can do that in a couple of ways. You can contact me through my website at www.cougarcosmetics.com.au or .com. Both will take you there. Uh, you can contact me on Facebook with a private message and please like and share the Facebook page. That'd be fantastic. 
I'd really appreciate that. And please subscribe to the channel so we can um, let you know what's happening next. And also, you are most welcome to join us on the Cougar Cosmetics Women's Forum Facebook page. It's a support group for women. Uh, it's not an advertising campaign. It's for women to support each other in any way that they can. It's designed for people to make new friends and also, you know, enter into discussions about perhaps menopause or whatever. Um, put the call out if you're looking for someone to have coffee with or go to a movie. Um, I'm sure someone will come to the rescue. Uh, we've had a couple of lunches here in Brisbane and we're about to have another one for those who are interested or even the Gold Coast. So we'll get some dates happening soon. It's been my pleasure, ladies. I'll catch you again soon. Thanks. Bye now.